Hey guys, what's up? Bonchi here, up in New Paltz, New York, about two hours north of the city, going to a thing called Ribfest, which I hope will be a delicious time. As you can maybe kind of see, it is a bit cloudy today. There is some rain predicted for later today, kind of around four or five o'clock. So I've got to kind of time my time at Ribfest appropriately. Got to make sure I leave at a certain time. Um, I believe it's like 40%, 30%, so it is kind of iffy, and in a way I kind of hate when things are iffy because I don't know whether or not to, I don't know how to plan basically. I mean, in general, I do have the rain suit on me with, uh, right now in my bag, it's not on me, it's, it's you know, in my luggage. And basically, if it's 30%, I'll bring it. If it's 40%, I even, might not even ride to be honest. Either that, 40% I'll probably ride, but I will, make darn sure to check that weather forecast to see when the rain's coming through look at maps and honestly it kind of puts a damper on the ride for me if I have, if I have to worry about rushing back or getting poured on uh, I've been poured on too many times I don't know if you guys have but I personally really can't stand it uh, I've had a lot of rides uh, this has not been a good summer for me I've had too much stuff canceled due to bad weather and ironically yeah I, I don't want to talk about it <laughs> but um Let's see, so yeah, basically 40% is kind of the maximum which I'll, I'll ride under. Um, moving on to the other kind of weather issue I have here in the Northeast, it is uh, cold. Uh, I've got heated gear, haven't been able to use it as much as I'd like just due to other obligations, but in general, yeah, 50, 40 is kind of the coldest I'll ride under. And also another thing that that depends on is length of ride. You know, if it's super cold, I can kind of go if it's in the 40s, say, I can go for a ride, but just a short one, like maybe under an hour, uh, just sort of a, you know, kind of a purpose-driven ride where, where I have a utilitarian ride, shall I say, where I'm just doing something just to do something. But if it's a pleasure ride, like an hour and change, two hours, three hours, then, you know, um, that has to be factored in as well. Moving on toward the other extreme, uh, heat. Uh, in general, I'll, I kind of go by the real feel in that, in that case. If it's going to be a real feel of over 95, then I probably won't ride. I'm that gat kind of person, and it is just miserable. Another factor I've got to consider also, uh, whether it's cold or hot, is the traffic. I definitely do not want to be sitting in traffic uh, in 90 plus weather with a with a even a mesh jacket. It's quite miserable. Um, if it's a cold ride, and I know there is sort of, if I am going through a local area kind of like this, it is much more doable than blasting down the highway at 85 and having it be 40 degrees outside or something. In general, I wonder how long distance guys do it. If you're on a multi-day trip, a week or so, let's say, or even three or four days. I mean, that's barely a tour. We'll talk about that later. But I'm curious as to how people mitigate this or do they plan around it? Do you guys <coughs> just, um, you know, just check the, the weather report and leave at a certain time of day or do you just stay in? All day I knew a guy, he was riding cross country and he emailed me from I think a hotel in Minnesota because he's like, I've got to stay an extra night because, <coughs> excuse me, uh, it's raining, I've got to wait this out. So, I mean, that's another extra 100 uh, to $200, you know, that's, that's going to put a dent in the travel budget, on, honestly. Um, a lot of touring books and, you know, rider technique books, you know, they're saying, pull over under a bridge or just you know like I'm doing like schedule the ride in a different kind of way um, I'm curious as to what point you'll call a ride off personally in general I'm rarely more than just two hours away from home so if I get caught in the rain I, I unfortunately will just push through it fortunately I don't have to make that call very often but I have found that I just want to get the heck home so I, I kind of just punch it and uh, I don't mean go riding like a crazy person I mean just pushing through you know I, in my mind I'm just thinking it's only 45 more minutes I can deal with 30 minutes of this uh, unfortunate part of that strategy is that the last 30 minutes of the ride uh, for me to get home are the toughest that's New York City traffic and there's crazy drivers short stopping distances metal plates and, and after a whole day I'm pretty exhausted and so my, my reflexes are probably not the sharpest uh, so that's another factor I've got to consider. So um, I'm curious as to what part you'll, at what point you'll call off a ride. A couple of weeks ago, I had to go to DC with a with a friend where he was going to ride his Harley down. I have my SV here, and 
he had some bad experiences in the rain so you know we just sort of the, the weather was too crappy and we just sort of had to call it off and we found other way to get down to dc but yeah let me know um you know what your strategies are how when you bring the rain suit uh, how how you deal with a cold ride a hot ride or etc all right thanks and we'll see you out there bye